Okay, uh, hello guys. Uh, now I want to do a short, I don't know how short it'll be, a video talking about like a spoilery discussion about War and Peace, like, like for people who have read it or who don't care about spoilers. Um, just some thoughts about it. I probably can't think of all of them because I read this over almost four years, so three years and 11 months I think it was, this book. Um, and I have a video that I pub like I just published just then about my how I got into reading it. It was from the Charlie Brown's Peanuts movie. Um, but anyways, um, some thoughts I have. I really love the wisdom that, uh, like, you know Pierre? Like, when I first read about Pierre, I didn't really like him. He seemed like a, a, a doofus, kind of like, um, kind of like, he just seemed really dumb and dopey. <laughs> uh, and they even described him as, like, kind of like, I don't know, just kind of like dopey. I didn't really like him that much, but by the end of the book, after he had gained so much wisdom from, um, I forgot his name, Platov Karatoyev or something, the guy, when he was a prisoner in the, after the war, he gained all this... He gained this wisdom of how to look at life where it didn't really matter what happened to him or what people thought or what people said. Um, he was just happy and he had this kind of like assuredness about him. I really love that um, that change in him. It was incredible. Like towards the end of the main story, like he was just so cool. I really love that how he was just like, I don't know, just had this kind of a smile on his face of like just being content and nothing can phase him. And, and there was also a thing where him and Natasha talked to each other and they both agreed that um, that they went through all these bad, tough things, experiences, but they wouldn't change anything about it because um, it made them who they are and they've gained all these wisdom and, you know, it's better for it. You know, and some other things that were really cool, like there was a thing about like how there were these people who were like prisoners and, and you'd think they would be really sad and unhappy, but they were actually kind of okay with it. Like once you got used to it, like lying in a bed of maggots there was still or well, I don't know if that's exactly it but something like that they, but they were still somehow happy or something like that I don't really know it was all, all in that prisoner part with Pierre and, and I forgot his name Platov or Platon or something like that he was a really cool character too even though he was only in it for a little bit like he was a very um, cool character and really inspired Pierre to come to that conclusion and also um, Andre he kind of learned something as well which I really liked like for, I think, the middle part of it, Andre was a bit of a lovesick guy. He was like, when I was reading about him, I was like, oh, he's kind of like, he's, I don't really like him anymore. He was like really lovesick for Natasha and just sad and mopey, I think he was. But towards the end, for some reason, he kind of gained wisdom and he kind of like got over it in a way just before he died, I think it was. <laughs> I can't remember it specifically. Um, some other things that were really cool was like in the battle scenes, like some of them they were explained so well and like really exciting. And there was a point where I think Pierre was around these um, cannoneers or something like that, but they were like a team and they they, they kind of like Pierre, who was like the lucky Russian or something. I don't know what he was, or the Frenchman they called him or something. He was just kind of like around, like I don't know, just around the battlefield. He was like their good luck charm or something like that. <laughs> um, just some scenes like that were really cool. There were some scenes with um, Natasha and her, I think it was her little brother. Just seen around the house, it was just capturing, like, just life of, like, a like a, a teenage kid. And, like, I think when she was she was getting over her, um, love, sadness or something about Andre or something like that, she was happy again. It was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed reading it. And, um, yeah, like I say in another video or something, I found a real rhythm to reading it, like, um, like, each chapter was just really good like some chapters I'd read and like maybe in my mind was not concentrating and I was like I didn't really read that properly I'll read it again and when I read it again I was like whoa that's really good really really good so yeah very awesome book that's I think the main things I want to say about it um yeah did I say the epilogue I didn't like the epilogue very much like you know the end the last scene at the end of the main story where Pierre and Natasha got together um, right at the end, it was just it ended just swiftly like that, and I was like, "That's so beautiful! It's such a great ending to a like a long story like that." It was really really cool. But then I read the epilogue, which is like a hundred pages, and it just it took me like because I well, by that stage I wasn't like taking it t my time with it. I was like, oh, "I'm so near the end, I'll just finish it off." And um, I think I read it over two nights, the epilogue, and it was like really hard. And I was thinking that just shows how good the main story was because the main story wasn't a chore at all, like. But the epilogue was a bit of a was a lot of a chore actually, and I had to really struggle. <laughs> and there was a part where he was Tolso was saying I, I agreed with some of the stuff he said, but then there was a part where he was saying like, "There's no free will, or humans don't have free will, and it's all." So 
something. And I didn't agree with that. I didn't like, I, it's kind of, I find it pessimistic. I don't know. I don't like it at all. And also I found like he thinks too much. Like there's, he's really like, I mean, I think that's his personality like, but I just didn't like, it was really complicated the way he was looking at history and stuff, which is, I've actually really enlightening because I've never really thought of history like that. I just like, oh yeah, that's history, you read about it and that's what you gain from it. I never really thought hard about it, but he was saying things like, who reports history and like, they, they, they say it's like, oh, it's because Caesar did this and that's why that happened, but you know, what power does he actually have over people, which is really actually interesting. It'd be a great discussion, but I didn't really like that tacked on the end of this book, but maybe when he wrote it, it's all part of this book, like the whole, maybe the book is all part of that and why he wrote it, so maybe it's important to him, but... As a reader of just the story, I, 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 uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> but, yeah, still, overall, like, the book was fantastic. And I would actually really happily read it again, like, yeah, and then now that i finished it, I could just read it. Well, I was reading for fun before. I was in no rush to finish it, which is kind of why I think I enjoyed it a lot. I wasn't in, trying to finish this really long book. I was just um, reading as it went, and I, I didn't know if it would... I mean, it felt like it was going forever. <laughs> And if you read something for three and three and almost four years, it does feel like forever. But um, yeah, I can't believe I finished it. Yay! It's like, um, yeah, I really, I really, because you know, it's a story you always hear about war and peace, war and peace. But I didn't know anything about it. You know, I didn't know that many people had read it. Um, yeah, I know one of my friends, Han, has read it and she really liked it. But that was it. Um, so yeah, that's all I really want to say. I think off the top of my head. Uh, great book, great experience. Would happily read it again, except for the epilogue. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you, yeah. Anyways, bye.